test. I want to do a little experiment with this condensate pump right here. If you take a closer look at it, this is the Beckett BK171UL 115 volt version. It has a max lift of 17 foot. It pumps 112 gallons per hour at one foot, and this pump has a three year warranty. I'm going to fill this pump with water. We're going to do a few runs with this pump. We're going to do one run without any obstructions or anything like that. This is 14 foot of 3 8 vinyl tubing. The clamp here and the tape I have here and here to keep it so you guys can see it does not impact the tubing. It isn't squishing the tubing in any area, so it won't be a factor in this test. I did coil it up, and that's just like it'll appear most times in real life, coiled up and run haphazardly, as we all know from being service techs and finding it on the job site, running like this. I have my trusty duct tape covered measuring cup. I'm gonna put the exact same amount of water in each time I run the pump. So this has four cups in it, or looks like 800 or 1,000 milliliters, or one liter that is. And I'm gonna start here and see if this fills up the pump. I'm gonna take it right close to the top. Well, we're gonna need another whole cup of that. Two liters should do it. And we're still about an inch, inch and a half from the top. Come on. Okay, one and a half additional cups, and hopefully that is my best calculation on what will not cause this to overflow as well. Uh-oh. I see some water coming from right here. So that is the maximum right there. Looks like the maximum is going to be about nine cups, or just shy of nine cups. Yep. So we'll probably do nine cups and I'll probably make another mess. So now that we have our nine cups in the pump, I'm going to plug the pump in and we're going to time how long it takes for the pump to push the entire cycle of water through. And we're going to compare that to a couple other scenarios coming up. Now I'm going to add a little monkey wrench to the plan. I'm going to put a clamp on the line and we're going to see how much longer it takes to pump out the same volume of water. Okay, I refilled the pump. I'm going to put, use one of my wood clamps here, to put a little bit of pressure and we're going to close it off like, let's say about a significant amount. So there's not a whole lot left right there. I hope that that is. I might have to back that off just slightly because I want there to be some flow. All right, let's see how we do there. If you look at that, it looks like it's clamped pretty tightly right there. And it is because the thick wall of the vinyl tubing accounts for a lot of that spacing. So let me make sure water actually comes out the end of it. But this will be if someone has clamped it too tightly with like one of those electrical staples. A lot of guys like to put electrical staples to hold these in. And if you go too far with it, you might end up crushing this stuff, at least to a certain degree. Let's see how that affects it. We'll compare it with the time we ran the first time. What I've simulated here is a crimped off vinyl tubing. And this happens a lot, especially when it gets hot outside, hot up in the attic, because this tube gets very weak and pliable and has a tendency to sag and crimp off. So let's see what happens when we have just one crimp that's relatively severe.
tell this one's making a difference. Well, that took a lot longer, I can tell without seeing the measurement. I want to thank Beckett for sending out this condensate pump right here and a couple others that I can play with and do experiments with. To find out more about these pumps, you can visit the description of this video and there'll be a link to Beckett US. I was a little surprised by how little the clamp affected the piping whenever I just clamped it down, but whenever I kinked it off, it was pretty severe. So next time we go on a preventive maintenance or we're installing a condensate pump, make sure you take care that you don't put yourself in a position where you'll be coming back to fix a kink. And remember more than anything else, always use best practices. Best practices be doing the right thing all the time. Doing the right thing all the time. Doing the right thing all the time. Especially Friday.